you're given two points, okay, so you could grab these, these are x, y points, and you want to find the equation of the line between those two points. So I know something about y equals mx plus b, but I don't know the actual y-intercept. So I also know another formula, the y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And with this formula, I could plug in either point. So in other words, I could call this point x1 comma y1 and this point x2 comma y2. But I don't know the slope. No problem. I know how to find the slope, right? So I take the difference in the y's. So in other words, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And I just plug in those values. So that would be 4 minus 2 over 5. And be careful, minus a negative 5. Okay, so I'm going to have to end up a negative and a negative is positive, all that good stuff, right? And so let's just go down right here. And so 4 minus 2, 2. 5, a negative and a negative is a positive, so that would be 5 plus 5. And then I could reduce my fraction. All right, so again, this is the slope, which will get plugged in right here. I can plug in my x1 and my y1, and then I can get my equation of my line. So y1 is 2. I just found my slope, which is 1 fifth uh, x minus my x1, which is negative 5. So negative 5. Be careful with those negative signs. You don't want to lose them. And so basically I'm done. But if I want this to look a little better, I would... Um, let's go ahead and do my negative and negative first, so that would be plus 5. And then I could distribute that 1 fifth, so that would be y minus 2 equals 1 fifth x plus 1 fifth times 5. It would be 5 over 5, or 1. And then finally, last, I could add 2 to both sides to get y equals 1 fifth x plus 3, and that puts it in that y equals mx plus b, my slope-intercept form, where this, remember, was my point-slope form. And that's it.